Hello, uh, I thought I should uh, make a quick video here uh, to make sure that students who want to ask me a question or students who want to ask the lab tutor a question or even other people on campus that are using uh, chat or Microsoft Teams, uh, chat is the uh, part of the software that allows you to do a one-on-one -on -one chat. Everything in Microsoft Teams that we do when we're doing class sessions is recorded so that you can look at it in the future. A chat is more of a personal conversation between two people. Your conversations uh, will be saved, a record of what's there, but only you will be able to see them. And I'm in Microsoft Teams right now. If I click on the chat icon on the left-hand side, so I'm going to left-click on that, and the chat window is really easy to use. Um, remember, this is integrated with the computer system on the uh, TSCT campus. So if I want to chat with someone, I just start typing their name and it searches through all the email addresses and names that were created for students, faculty, and staff on Stevens. And you can choose that person once you have it there so you don't know half have, have to know how to spell their name exactly but just a little bit as you go through so I don't uh, have this student right now to chat with but um, I could chat and start a new message and and do whatever I want as far as communications goes back and forth with that student uh, we should try that sometime and hopefully sometime I'll have someone available that I can show a chat and a little bit more of a uh, detailed session. So that gets you started. Uh, please fool with that. If you come up with new ideas and new ways to do it, that would be great. The other thing I wanted to show you, if I go back to Teams, so I'm going to left click on the Teams and I'm going to sit right in the middle of one of these second year courses and all over the place um, there are places to type conversations and put notes in and have people aware of notes that you changed and you always see this start a new conversation type at to mention someone so the at sign is the shift to so let's type at sign and you'll notice a list of the students came up so if I wanted to post a note or say something and note someone very specifically I'd start to type their name in click it and then type the note that I want in here and I'm just gonna type character so it's fast and what will happen is um, and in this case Noah Fraley a second year student will get a notification that I put something in there and rather than him have to sort of come back and look at his activity when the he could do it so that was me typing at sign and a name if there's some other shortcuts like at sign team and if I type team in there, you'll notice a list of all the teams that I have available. And I could put a note in there, and that would mean everybody on the team gets an indication of something new was put on there. Some pretty neat features uh, with chat and teams. I'm hoping to chat with more students, and I'd like students to be able to communicate with each other in Microsoft Teams. And we'll come up with some neat features. Microsoft, I'm sure, will add some more as time goes along, but we'll come up with some pretty cool ways to use it, and we probably should share those. For now, that at least gets you started. Um, in the future, I expect to put a little bit more advanced topic with uh, chat between two individuals, but trying to get you to see what the purpose is and what communications tool you would pick up and use. So, Thank you very much for watching this. We'll see you in the future sometime. And please give me comments on other topics that you might want to see or features that you have found. Thank you.